Hello everyone. I don't know why my light is so bright. So today, uh, my brother texted me saying that working out means F all if you aren't on a good diet. This is wrong. Everything about that statement is wrong. Working out keeps your body healthy and it makes yourself feel better than you normally would. Working out means a lot, especially when you're on a bad diet. Because if you're on a bad diet and you're not working out, you're going to get lazy, you're going to get fatter, you're going to get worse, you're going to hate the world around you, it's not going to help you. So saying that working out while on a bad diet is essentially useless is wrong. That is a quitter's mentality. You would not tell someone, or at least I hope to God you would not tell someone, that if they are on a good diet but not working out, that is useless, because that's stupid. You are actively making your body healthier than it would be without it. Doing one without the other is fine. Do not quit, because if you quit, that's when you're losing it all. That's when it's, that's when it's useless. If you are working out and you are on a bad diet, understand you are okay. If you are on a good diet but you are not working out, understand that you are okay. If you are doing both, congratulations. That's amazing. We are proud of you and we are happy for you. It does not mean in any way, shape, or form that you should shame someone who is doing one over the other. Never shame anyone for doing one over the other because one way or another, they are making themselves healthier. They are doing better with their bodies than they would be if they weren't doing that. This mentality, right? <laughs> Saying working out is useless without the diet, the reason why I'm calling it a quitter's mentality is because once you're in that mentality, you're essentially going, oh, well, I might as well not work out if I'm not going to be able to maintain a proper diet. Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that? Why would you give up on something you are doing and enjoy doing and can do perfectly fine just because you can't do one other thing? It's the same with diet. If you are on a good diet and you've like, let's say you were like super overweight, but you've been on a good diet and you're losing that weight. And now you're just like, oh, well, I haven't been exercising or working out. And so my body isn't really getting to where I want it to be. So I might as well just quit working out. And then all of a sudden you gain that weight back and you're like, well, what happened? That's crazy. It's like, of course that happened. Why would, why would you do that? Like, why, why would you give up on the thing that is keeping you healthy and keeping you going just because you're not doing the other thing that can keep you healthy? You know, if you can't do both, that is fine. If you can't maintain both, that is fine. It's not optimal. You know, if, if you want to be optimal, you have to do both. It's not optimal to do one or the other, but it's not useless. It is completely useful. It is extremely useful to do one or the other. There is no reason to give up one just because you're not doing the other. There is no reason to say one is useless if you're not doing the other. If you want to push someone to diet or to exercise, you do not tell them that it is useless to do one or the other. That's not going to get them to do the other. That's going to get them to quit doing the one because that's a quitter's mentality. That is stupid. And for anyone who tells you that working out is useless without diet or a diet is useless without exercise, you tell them, then why do I feel so much better than I ever did before? The answer is because it's not useless. It's not doing f all it's doing a lot for you and you are the person it matters to if you can do both do both that is awesome that is fantastic that is great for you but do not shame others for not being able to do both that is pointless that is how you get them to quit that is stupid don't do that don't do that and if you are someone who is doing neither who is doing neither of these things, you especially do not shame someone for doing one of these things. That is bitterness, if anything. It is because you are a quitter 
that you're trying to get them to quit. Or at least that's what it looks like to the person doing the thing that you aren't. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that was a good nighttime chat for you. If you're working it out, keep it up. It's great. If you're on a good diet but you aren't working out, keep it up. It's great. And if you want to do both, do both. You can manage it. I know you can. It's fantastic. You will feel so much better. You'll do great. Everything will be great. But you don't need to quit. Just don't quit.